Hi everyone, it's Layla G. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun Q&A session with me and this is just to get to know me a little bit further. I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please like and subscribe and turn on your post notification bell to get updated on any new videos that I may post. So, without further ado, let's do this. Let's start with our basic questions. I think I got like three from people and they were like really simple. One person asked, am I taken or single? I'm taken by me, myself and I, but it doesn't count, so yeah, I'm single. Might have to scare me a fright, but I'm sorry. Um, and then the second question was, is what is your biggest fear? Definitely sharks. It used to be like cats, but like I've, nah, it's like nothing now. Now it's sharks, okay? Like after the, the movie about the Megalodon came out, it's a big mega thing it's called. Oh, I was like, oh my god, I'm never going in the ocean again. So now, like, when I swim in the ocean, I just go to the point where you're, like, just touching the floor. Or, like, just after that, when you're, like, just, like, not touching the floor. Then I start freaking out and swimming back. Yeah, can't go any further than that. I don't want to die. Who do you admire and look up to? Definitely my mommy. She's just amazeballs. But if we're talking, like, celebrities, just because, like, I want to be, like, a singer one day. Or just be recognized for my music and who I am and my voice and stuff. Definitely Selena Gomez. Just because she seems like such a down-to-earth person. She's so comfortable in herself. She's just... I don't know. She's just also very outspoken. She doesn't, you know, take anyone's rubbish. But yeah, she just seems kind and genuine. I also really look up to Miley Cyrus. I know a lot of people probably question me about that just because like she's changed so much over the years but I still see her as I've always seen her and that's like not this little kitty version of Hannah Montana. I don't know I've never seen her like that. She's just really inspiring with her music and her voice. She's very outspoken. She also I mean she like literally it's just herself and she's comfortable in her own skin she doesn't care what other people think about her very inspiring i love them next question is do i like or dislike surprises and why i love surprises um the reason i like them is because they're just so spontaneous and i mean they like you don't know what to expect so it's very exciting when it happens. I know a lot of people don't like that. They like to know beforehand. Would you rather ha take a vacation in Hawaii or Alaska and why? I love the beach. Don't get me wrong. Love a good tan. But definitely Alaska. Just because I love the cold. Which doesn't make sense because I'm a Parsi so I should be a summer baby. But I love winter. It's so much easier to get warmer in colder environments than it is to get cooler and warmer environments. I don't know if anyone agrees with me, but definitely I think it's facts. Next question is, are you a clean or messy person? I'm definitely clean. I think you can pretty much tell by my room. I'm very neat and tidy and organized. Especially like when you I just can't stand mess people. It's ugh. I'm like a little bit OCD, which is nothing wrong with being OCD. There's like millions and millions of people out there that are. And you know what? It's amazing. It's terrible at times, as is everything else, but it's amazing. The thing for me is I really hate it when you put something in a specific spot and then people will come like and use it, take it away, and then put it in a different spot. Oh my goodness. Drives me insane. But anyway, <laughs> let's get on. To the next question what is the worst gift that you received I have never received a terrible gift I'm very thankful for everything that I've received over the years but there's always a but this one Christmas that we spent with big luck like, family we spent with family my cousin Ashley got me <laughs> it's so embarrassing Zambuck. I don't know if anyone knows this but like knows what it is 
I know a lot of South Africans, or probably all South Africans, knows what Zambuk is. It's basically a lip balm that's in a tin. I would show you, but I don't have it. Um, yeah, so I was like really embarrassed because she was like basically telling me that my lips are like chapped or dry, and my lips are like never dry. So I was like, oh god, so embarrassing. But I wouldn't say it's the worst gift because it was more of like a funny gift, like to make me laugh. Because she did give me something else. I was actually really disappointed before she gave me the actual gift because I was like, I spent so much money on your gift. She gave me a Zambuk. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness she gave me another gift that was like an actual gift. What's your favorite movie? I have two. Beetlejuice and Corpse Bride. They're both, I think, produced and directed by Tim Burton. I love you, Tim Burton. Probably not gonna watch my video, but I love you. I love your movies. I literally watch them all on repeat. Next question: Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I would say both, but I know a lot of people assume that I'm an introvert just because I like to keep to myself. I'm very content with my own company. You know, I would put myself more in the extrovert category just because I'm very outspoken. I'm very outgoing. I'm not afraid to say what I, you know, feel. Unfortunately, that's a disease. I have no filter. And I'm very blunt. Sometimes it comes across in the wrong way. But I don't mean it to sound horrible or mean. I'm just, I have no filter. I just say, you know, the first thing that comes into my head. What is your favorite book to read? I have two. I always have two of things. Okay, I'm sorry. It's... The first one is definitely Pride and Prejudice, and then the other one will probably be Up All To My Stars. I know people are going to be like, oh, it's so sappy, it's like, oh, I'm so sad, and blah, but I love them. Who is your favorite author? I have two. <laughs> so it's Jane Austen, and it's also Nicholas Sparks. What is the most embarrassing moment of your life? Oh, wow. We're really getting into this. This is so embarrassing. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but during physical education, that period, so we were swimming, and thank the gods, no one was paying attention to me, because after I did my, like, you know, laps around the pool, I got out, and you know when you get out like this, like, the whole costume was this way, it was, like, so embarrassing. Which celebrity reminds you of yourself? Selena Gomez. What advice would you give to your high school self? Don't let people get to you and just push through. Don't listen to what people have to say about you. Just push through and ignore everybody else. Focus on your education. Okay. What do people often assume about you? Honestly, I've had a lot of people, like my friends, before they were my friends, they told me that they thought I was very stuck up, very rude, very bossy, very a biatch. They thought I was a biatch, literally, just from looking at me and I was like really hurt because it's like not true. I'm very nice, I'm very kind and very sensitive. So when they told me about that, I got really upset. But um, I'm glad they were honest. I love honesty. That is like my number one rule about being friends with me. You have to be honest, even if it hurts me. I prefer you to be honest than lie. What is a quote that you live by? Basically, no risk, no chances. So in other words, it basically means that if you don't take the risk, you don't know what will come out of it like you may lose the chance to do something that you may enjoy you know what I mean next question what do you do to cheer yourself up on a bad day watch comedy shows I just have to make myself laugh otherwise I'm not like quirky and fan and bubbly all the time uh, next question what are your biggest pet peeves Woo! Super easy question. Rude people. And I love ASMR, but I cannot stand it when people eat with their mouth open. Like they eat like this. 
I ate it. It gets on my nerves. I'll just, like if I'm eating with you, I'll just like eat my food and then I hear you and then I'm just gonna like look over to you and I'll be like, I won't say anything, I'll just look at you. And I'm like, yeah. Then you get the message of like, please stop eating that guy. It's so annoying. Next question, what has lockdown taught you about yourself? Two things. I get bored very easily. Second thing. I achieve a lot more in a much faster time period if I work alone. What is your favorite app on your phone? Pinterest, YouTube, Netflix. I can't pick between them. I can't pick. What did you want to be when you were younger? A singer and an actor. Mm, do you see yourself getting married one day? If so, what would your wedding be like? Yes, I do because <coughs> I want a lot of kids. My wedding would probably be very intimate, very family orientated, very neutral colors, natural surroundings. I love plants and just being with nature. Very like small. Uh, last question was by my cousin Ashley that we were speaking about earlier. She asked, who's your favorite cousin under the same roof? I do not have one, but if you're, if it's like, who do you get along with more? Probably you, because I don't know, you're just easier to talk to and you're just bubbly. Just PS everyone, we're born on the same day, just with like a four, four year gap. So we're both Pisces, so I think that's probably why we get along better than my other cousins. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one really, really, really soon. Basically next Sunday. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I had a really awesome time filming this video, and y'all. Yeah. Bye!